If anything, I was the slave in our relationship. Fetch me some water, boy. Yes, boy. sir. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, that's because I work the worst <laughs> job in America called Mental Health Therapy Aid, or Mahatas for short. Mahatas work in psych wards and are basically babysitters for adults, feeding them, monitoring them, getting viciously attacked by them! <laughs> Off of the low pay of 35 grand a year. That's right, for an unlivable wage, you too can deal with stress of a year? get assaulted today. Hell when no. I started the job, I had no idea what I was getting into. All they asked in the interview process was, are you okay with mandated overtime? In which they might as well have asked, how poor are you? Because who is okay <laughs> with being forced to work? Hey, did you think you were about to go home? Well, not anymore. We're gonna need to watch Billy. Be careful, he's off his meds. Billy, Billy look crazy. Out. My first day on the job taught Billy, me what anxiety off, really is. I started by being dumped on the sex offenders unit and told to take roll call. Imagine all of a sudden being surrounded by 30 psychotic <laughs> predators and having to talk to every <laughs> single one of them. Not only really that, but as I'm asking for people's names, all I'm doing is making enemies. Because 90% of psych patients are lazy, drugged up idiots who spend most of the day sleeping. And my white ass is just tapping them on the shoulder like, hey, what's your name? Go f yourself. Okay, I don't see yourself here. Is it Jerry? Is that look, look, guys, there is no way in hell I will ever work a job like this. We call it mental health aid therapy, bro. You gotta work with crazy people all day, and I don't even like using the word crazy people, bro. It makes me makes me feel a little rude, but let's let's call a spade a spade, bro. They, they off something, man. They're not completely there. Why would I ever and only for $35,000 a year, only for 35k a year, bro. Like you can make more at McDonald's. The hell flipping burgers. I'm Jimmy good, bro. Jerry. <laughs> but that fear eventually subsides, lulling you into a false sense of security. Now you're much easier to attack. You'll remember to be anxious next time a food trace thrown at your face. That's <laughs> what you get for opening up their package of bread, sprinkling in rat poison, and putting the wrapper back on, thinking I wouldn't notice. So what's the training like to handle an aggressive patient? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You see, I'm not allowed to hit, tackle, or even bear hug him. No, no, it's too cruel. All I'm allowed to do is redirect. So if a patient is coming at me with a hammer, all I can do is redirect him away. Which sounds ridiculous, and it is! You think pressing the juke button is gonna make a person forget what they were doing? Where did this hammer come from? And in what part of this do you get the weapon away from the patient? Is Billy now on construction duty? Oh, nails good! You see, what happened was, a few years back, people used to beat the heck out of patients. So yes, they, they the did. Walls in order to protect them. Problem is, they overcorrected, and now patients have too many rights. For example, let's say a patient punches you in the face and breaks your jaw. I'm gonna get my class back! Nothing! No jail, no prison, no hooking up the nips to car batteries, nothing. And you can go ahead and press charges, but like Drake being told, no, it's not going to change anything. Because in order to convict, you need evidence. Uh, psych wards a Drake, refuse a to any in fear of violating HIPAA. You Drake think your pinata chat. face would be enough proof, but sadly, it isn't. I learned this the hard way when a patient named Tommy chomped down on my arm. And you might be thinking, oh, well, maybe he was psychotic at the time. No! He knew exactly what he was doing. You see, Tommy is basically an internet troll. All day, every day, he's spent trying to instigate people. He'll harass, stalk, and pet staff members, all with the biggest smile on his face. Anyway, one day, Tommy starts bothering another patient named Rick, and Rick is not the person you want to with. Rick has a long history of violence Jeez. and has been arrested 37 I wouldn't mess with Rick. 37! I thought after I 20, they just say, look, I'm not messing with Rick. Chance. Not only that, but Rick's fists don't discriminate. He's assaulted police, COs, nurses, so I don't think my pasty ass is off limits. <laughs> anyway, I keep separating Tommy and Rick, but Tommy just keeps coming back. Eventually, I get I'm fed up, and I was more. like, look, Tommy, I'm not going to tell you again. Either go to your room, or I'm going to call the doctor to give you an injection. Tommy responds appropriately by spitting in my face. And this... And this is, this is why I will never work. Not even like just I this. I wanted to. I decided to play I'll by the rules and redirect him to the medication room. Problem was, once we got there, Tommy was free to drag me to the ground. <laughs> to the UFC match. Instinctively, I go for an armbar, but Tommy counters with a chomp to the forearm. Immediately, I hit him in the throat. He lets go, but Good. not before taking a nice little chomp. Good, bro. Eventually, I go to the hospital, where a thick nurse asks, "What happened?" Well, the hungry patient a decided to have a little nurse. Nibble. Maybe you should have fed him more. Or maybe, maybe this job is worth it. Treat. That's when I get a call from my supervisor telling me Tommy is HIV positive. Oh, positive. Positive! That will be the day I crash out. That will be the day I crash out. You're telling me I have a chance to catch HIV and not, and not even the fun way, bro. I didn't even get it the fun way by be, by clapping some cheeks. No, I got it because a crazy person wanted to chomp down on my arm. Oh my gosh, that will be the day I just go wild. I'll go buck crazy. That will be the day I crash out. 
You gotta be kidding me. HIV positive? Nah, man. Stay yeah, away from me. Not I'm only sorry. do I get I'm stitches, sorry, sorry, but I also get that fear rattling around in my brain noodle. Oh, yep. but I used to get a few days off from work. Sure, but it's my own time. That's right. When you get injured, the hospital doesn't give you days off. So I had to use my own vacation time. Some people vacay in Hawaii while I sit home worrying about dying. So I returned to work a week later and talked to Tommy's parole officer, who piled on more bad news, saying that even with an injury requiring stitches, there was nothing he could do. So what do you think Tommy did once he found out there were no consequences? Laughed. Did he guess level up his troll game? Did he do yeah, it again? Turns out giving an a-hole a get-out-of-jail-free card is like giving Drake a preteen, saying, I hope you don't abuse this. And this is just one <laughs> many times Another Drake jab. the psych center. Not including all the psychological trauma, there was a stretch between February and November where I was legitimately worried about my life, mostly due to a patient named Tyrone. Whoa. Tyrone has the three most dangerous qualities of any human. Tyrone, He's big as hell! Works, paranoid, and freakishly strong. He barely even worked out either. He was just built like a gorilla. <laughs> That's not even a race thing. If anything, I was the slave in our relationship. Fetch me some water, boy. Yes, boy. sir. Right away, sir. But even with walking on eggshells, Tyrone he missed, would still you like get furious with me. Mostly because, like I mentioned earlier, he's paranoid! If you just glanced at this dude wrong, he'd think you're plotting against him. But luckily, most of the staff knew how to handle Tyrone, which was just to ignore him. Engaging with someone paranoid only fuels their delusion, so the simplest strat is to just ignore him. However, one staff member named Jamal apparently didn't get the memo and starts arguing with Tyrone. I'm trying to separate him when Jamal says, Stop talking about something and do it! Now my anxiety Jamal? is skyrocketing! Because if Tyrone name. starts swinging at Jamal, I'm the best option to get him off, and I'm not a good option. Be like a preteen trying to wrestle Another Drake. Another Drake job. Like struggle. So I'm begging you, like, come on, man. It's not worth it. But he just has to run his mouth again and say, I knew you were soft, soft, Ooh. soft. And just like that, should have said that. Time, Tyrone grabs Jamal by the neck and just tosses him across the room. Like he was playing frisbee with an infant, causing him to fly through the air before landing hard on the concrete. Then Tyrone starts charging towards Jamal when out of pure desperation, I yell, Chipotle! Tyrone hesitates. Chipotle, Tyrone. Is, is that the safe word? Right now and get you Chipotle if you leave oh. Jamal alone. Okay. Painting Tyrone goes. He Pain. likes Chipotle. <sighs> Burrito. I'm like, yep, I'll get your burrito right now, but you gotta chill, okay? Go, go to your room and I'll bring it to you. <laughs> he's kind of like gears turning in his head. So with my heart pounding, oh, I looked right at Tyrone and said, Chicken burrito. Ooh. Tyrone looks at me, nods, Chicken. and heads back to his room. Staff quickly rush over to help out Jamal, who was clearly fed up. There's no blood, please, but he's making this Please tell me Jamal quit that day. <laughs> please tell me he left that day. He's a sprained forearm, dislocated wrist, and ah. fractured hip. Yeah, ah. a frisbee toss. He needs to say he never came back to work. Which Thank you. Is probably for the best. Thank you. Considering he had a habit of instigating the zoo animals. So whatever happened to Tyrone? Well, I got good news. He was arrested, charged, and later sentenced to five years in prison. <laughs> I'm kidding. There were no consequences. <laughs> if anything, Tyrone's bad behavior was rewarded with Chipotle. That's because oh psych words aren't fair. There's nothing fair about getting anxiety, being nibbled on, or thrown across the room when you're just trying to pick up a paycheck. So anybody out there thinking about working in a psych center, don't. But if you're poor and have no other no option, interest in just that, remember, bro. if Thanks you can appeal though. to someone's mind, then try appealing to their stomach. Uh. How did you get HIV? The same way as everybody else. A hungry man. Think of psych wards like the Middle East, where the patients are the man and you're the woman. What's the worst job in America? Is a coal miner, Uber driver, hand? I worked as a Mahada for three years, and I don't want to say it was hell, because there's a lot of cool people in hell. Prince, DMX, Kobe. <laughs> there's no one cool in the psych ward. Kobe. Sure, but no one I take a helicopter ride. All right, with. I don't Positive. know about Kobe. Positive. 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 Society looks at a drooling person and sees a problem. Well, I see a solution. We're all thinking the same. Look, guys, look, guys, when it comes to mental health, like, I'm completely for it. You know, these people, they deserve to get the help that they need, but they're not going to get that help from me. They're not going to get that help from me. And sorry to repeat what I just said, but you got to remember, this guy was getting paid $35,000 a year. He wasn't even getting paid, like, a good salary that will warrant, like, the risks that he was enduring, bro. No, $35,000. He was getting paid peanuts, peanuts to put his life on the line every day to have people like Tyrone bitch him around, to have people with HIV bite him. Are y'all doing that for $35,000 a year? I think not, bro. $35,000 a year. That's about, that's, that's, that's around three. That's a little under $3,000 a month. $3,000 a month, guys. Can, can you afford to live on $3,000 a month? You can't. Spoiler alert, you can't, bro. You're broke. You're poor. I'm sorry. Question. How dumb can a person be before tapping is illegal? We gotta draw a line somewhere. Can't just be giving out low fives to every grunting girl. So how dumb is too dumb? What if she thinks the earth is flat, or crystals have healing powers, or condoms feel just as good as raw dogging? At Ugh. what point does her ignorance become I mean, a red flag instead of a green light? Better I use them. Because there was a patient at the psych center named Stacy who was aesthetically banging, but mentally Ooh. a pop tart. Now, I didn't Not have a desire that. to pet her untrimmed kitty, but other patients did. Staff Never would mind. repeatedly catch her playing the 
who's in my mouth game, which was <gasps> such a nightmare. Because patience porking will get you in trouble, but patience assaulting will get you fired. And whatever the IQ uh. threshold for consent is, Stacy was right on the border. Sure, she could answer basic questions, but her brain came with a built-in buffer, like trying they to play was passing Stacy around. around. Anyway, the good news That's is Stacy was eventually transferred to an all-female unit. Thank where it was you. Clear, no one wanted to taste her seafood. Poor <laughs> Stacy. I didn't hear no. <laughs> Positive. <laughs> Mm, you know what you want to do. Oh, you want to do okay, okay. <laughs> that was wild. Stacy playing what's in my mouth. <laughs> Again, man, there is no way I would ever take a job like that. I'm glad you're a YouTuber now offending everybody because that does really, that really does sound like the worst job in America. Maybe even in the world. Eh, let me not say the world because there's other countries, other continents, other continents, other countries that probably have way worse jobs in that they pay way less, bro.